Hi, it's Barb, Meeple PhD, with another Cosmic Game Connection. A couple of months ago, I saw that for the first time, astronomers had imaged a dusty region around the central massive black hole in a type of galaxy known as an active galactic nucleus. This dusty donut is integral to models that unify the different classes of active galactic nuclei. AGN, as they're known to astronomers, are galaxies where the central region show an enormous amount of emission from a very small region. They often show variability on small time scales like hours, days, months, even years, but in astronomical terms that's pretty quick. Uh, and they are often observable across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from radio up to gamma rays. Historically, the classifications of AGN came from a myriad of different observational criteria, leading to a veritable zoo of AGN types. However, in the 80s and 90s, astronomers started looking at the polarized spectra of some AGN. And what they found was that the polarized spectrum of one type of AGN held within it the unpolarized spectrum of another type. These observations led to a unification model that essentially say that all active galaxies are the same base object. The current view is that there is a central supermassive black hole surrounded by a disk of matter that is accreting onto that black hole. This is all embedded within the hole of a donut-shaped object. And in some cases, there is also a relativistic jet blasting its way from near the environment of the black hole. With this model, that central accretion disk can easily be blocked from our view by that dusty donut simply by changing the angle at which we view it. That, and the presence or absence of the relativistic jet, can explain most, if not all, of those AGN subclassifications. Up until now, astronomers had indirect evidence of this donut. But with this image from the Very Large Array Telescope, we have, for the first time, direct evidence of this structure in galaxy Cygnus A, thus bolstering the unification theory even further. The game that came to mind as I was thinking of these researchers trying to unify the myriad different types of active galactic nuclei was Factory Funner. Factory Funner is a tile placement and network building game where players are trying to build the most efficient and lucrative factory floors. Each player starts the game with a player board representing their factory floor, tiles that represent different vats of goo that will power their machines, and eight different machine tiles dealt face down. Each round, players will flip up one of their tiles to the center of the table, uh, which represent the machines that are available to all players. Uh, there's no order to how you draft these tiles. Whoever grabs a tile first gets that tile. However, whoever takes the first tile gets a tiny penalty, and whoever takes the last tile gets a little bonus. These machines all take some kind of input, different colors of goo, and they all output something, either other colors of goo or end products. If it's different colors of goo that it outputs, those can be used as inputs to other machines, or they can just be collected in containers. If it's a final product, it must simply be collected in a container. After choosing their tile, players simultaneously place their new machine on their factory floor and set up a network of pipes, vats, and containers to power their machines. Once a machine has been placed, it cannot be moved. However, the pipes, vats, and containers can all be deconstructed and reconstructed. The new machine comes with a dollar amount that the player will take at the end of that round. However, each new pipe, vat, and container that is added that round will cost them a dollar. Now, if the player can synergize their machines so that the output of one creates the input of another, they put a little marker on that connection. This will give them some game end money. At the end of eight rounds, players take their bonuses for those output to input connections, and the player with the most money wins. So what does this all have to do with that dusty donut image that I showed you earlier? I was thinking of those scientists many years ago, faced with this zoo of different types of galaxies, trying to figure out the most efficient way to connect them all together that would make sense for the data. 
And I was thinking of the end of the factory funner when you look down at your factory floor and hopefully you have figured out the most efficient way to connect up all of your machines. So the next time you pull out factory funner and you're trying to puzzle out the best way to lay out your pipes and vats and containers, take just a second and think about active galactic nuclei and the neat way that they have been packaged together. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions about the science, the game, or anything, please leave them in the comments. I'll bring you another Cosmic Game Connection soon. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you know when it comes out. In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as at MeeblePhD, and you can follow my blog at MeeblePhD.com. The moon the moo, the moo machine. Mm.